In the journey of spiritual awakening, one often experiences profound shifts akin to awakening to a new understanding of oneself and the world. Spiritual awakening resembles a unique journey, not a straight path, more akin to a DNA spiral. Some traverse through stages cyclically, while others leap forward, each journey bespoke. Despite our varied paths, common threads bind us. Let us explore the five stages of spiritual awakening, succinctly understanding each. Today, we shall delve into the five stages of spiritual awakening, offering insights into each stage and aiding in identifying where one might find oneself. In the initial stage of the spiritual awakening journey, one dwells deeply within the realm of self-consciousness. It's a state of existence where thoughts and emotions reign supreme, yet remain unconscious. The individual is intimately entwined with these thoughts and emotions, deeming them integral to themselves. Self-consciousness holds sway tightly, leaving scant room to separate self from subjective experience. In this state, Individuals may find themselves reacting to life rather than actively shaping it. Control feels limited, leading to defensive, angry, and negative emotions. Life appears to unfold in predetermined ways, with any encountered trauma reinforcing beliefs of control deficiency. Personal narratives intertwine with the individual's perception, viewing life as something that happens to them rather than something they actively create. Viewing others becomes challenging at this stage, as perception is filtered through the lens of one's own experiences and projections, hindering a genuine understanding of others and fostering distorted views of the world. Characteristics of the unconscious stage include being deeply entangled with the self, blurring the boundaries between self and the external world. The journey towards spiritual awakening begins with this recognition, acknowledging the need to break free from unconscious patterns and explore deeper layers of existence. This marks the starting point towards greater self-awareness and profound connections to aspects of human experience. As the journey of spiritual awakening progresses, individuals encounter a transformational stage known as ego death. This stage involves a profound dissolution of the ego, the subjective self that shapes individual identity and cognition. It's a process wherein identities constructed around labels such as gender, age, race, and beliefs are deconstructed. Ego death isn't physical demise, but rather the dismantling of tightly held beliefs revolving around the self. Individuals realize that their stories of self aren't the essence of their existence. All notions and concepts about life, God, and religion are wiped away, leaving behind a void and transcendence. Emerging from this self-deconstruction is an inner space, a separation between subjective self and observer self. In the unconscious stage, this observer self is obscured, but now it becomes more apparent. Individuals begin to apprehend that they are not solely entwined with thoughts, emotions, and identities of the self. Ego death brings awareness of the observer self, a part that quietly observes and experiences life without being ensnared by self-narratives. Individuals begin to realize that the self is not the true self, but rather a construct shaped by socialization, personal experiences, and learned behaviors. This stage prompts a fundamental shift in perspective, opening the doors to deeper self-understanding. Through the journey of ego death, it's about recognizing self-illusions, understanding that one's narrative about oneself isn't the core of their existence. It marks a transition towards deeper self-awareness, paving the way for further exploration of consciousness and the nature of reality. Beyond ego death, the journey of spiritual awakening enters a stage known as seeking. In this stage, individuals embark on a quest for understanding, seeking what is often referred to as truth. Seeking involves a deep exploration of existential questions, a yearning to unravel the mysteries of one's existence. 
In the seeking stage, individuals often turn to various sources of guidance, engaging in spiritual literature, seeking the wisdom of spiritual mentors, and immersing themselves in explorations of profound thoughts. The driving force behind this pursuit is a sincere desire to grasp who one is, why they were born, the meaning of life, and the nature of God. This seeking is not merely a rational pursuit, it's an inner exploration propelled by a sincere desire for clarity and purpose. Individuals delve into spiritual practices such as meditation, contemplation, prayer, or guidance, driven by an inner longing to connect with higher understanding. As they traverse this stage, individuals may find solace in spiritual teachings resonating with their evolving consciousness, reading becomes a path to enlightenment, with each insight bringing a sense of ease and connection. The hallmark of this stage is a thirst for knowledge that aligns with emerging self and cosmic understanding. As the journey of spiritual awakening progresses, individuals reach a pivotal moment, the emergence of the authentic self. The hallmark of this stage is a profound shift from pretense to self-recognition of true nature. In the emergence of the authentic self, individuals reach a point where the facades they may have presented to the world begin to crumble, pretense becomes increasingly challenging, and attempting to conform to societal expectations no longer resonates with the evolving self-awareness. This stage often reveals the true essence of individuals, akin to who they were before socialization shaped and influenced their identity. It's a return to the authenticity of childhood when societal expectations had yet to mold and influence individual identity. In this stage, individuals have a higher awareness of things that align with their inner authentic self, imbalance relationships, discordant careers, and pursuits that no longer serve the pursuit of the true self begin to fade away. Individuals feel increasingly unable to suppress their true voice and unwilling to compromise their genuine desires. In many instances, this stage entails significant life changes. One might resign from their job, reassess relationships, and adjust their lifestyle to align with the emerging authenticity. This period may be marked by a sense of upheaval as old energies that no longer resonate are discarded to make space for the influx of new energies. Besides external changes, the emergence of the authentic self often triggers internal transformations, old emotional scars and psychological traumas may resurface, needing acknowledgement and release. Emotional fluctuations become a common experience as individuals undergo a purification process. Physically, the body may exhibit symptoms of elevation as it adjusts to new energy frequencies. These symptoms may range from heightened intuition to lucid dreams, premonitions, and other multidimensional experiences. Individuals become more attuned to deeper levels of understanding of themselves and the surrounding world. In the final stage of the spiritual awakening journey, individuals transition into a state of living in alignment. This stage signifies a harmonious integration of every aspect of the self with the surrounding world, transcending the emergence of the authentic self and extending to a profound connection with all aspects of existence. Living in alignment entails a deep understanding and connection to the self, soul, mind, and body, a compassionate acceptance of one's limitations, and a forgiving embrace of the imperfections that constitute the essence of the individual. It's a state of existence where self-compassion becomes a guiding principle. Alignment also extends to relationships with others, as individuals accept their authentic selves, empathy and forgiveness naturally overflow, fostering a natural acceptance and forgiveness of others' limitations in interpersonal relationships. Individuals realize that everyone is on their unique journey and understand that everyone is doing their best with their current level of awareness. This stage involves becoming one's own nurturer, becoming the supportive parent figure that may have been needed earlier in life. It's a journey towards unconditional self-love, cultivating an environment of understanding and kindness internally. As this self-love deepens, it naturally extends to others, nurturing compassion in interpersonal relationships. 
Living in alignment isn't limited to the human realm, it extends to a broader connection with the world. Individuals realize their interconnectedness with nature, trees, plants, animals, air, earth, and even inanimate objects. This interconnectedness becomes a lived reality rather than just a conceptual understanding. While living in alignment acknowledges the beauty and light in existence, it also includes a compassionate acknowledgement of the darker aspects, which aren't seen as cynical, but rather understood and conscious, recognizing that every aspect contributes to enriching the human experience. If this resonates with you, please consider sharing it with someone you think would appreciate it. Feel free to share your thoughts or experiences below. Until next time.